Dear Jenna, <laughs> you are the dream expert. <laughs> I am. So I'm getting married in July, mm-hmm. and I had a dream that I'm going to mine and Kara's engagement party slash picking up her wedding dress. And people show up that I wasn't expecting people to show up before the party ahead of time. And they show up, and I get a little annoyed that they showed up. Dwight Schrute, who's going to be my best man in my dream, <laughs> nice. shows up not wearing the proper attire. And is like, yo, where's my shirt that I'm supposed to wear? Getting more annoyed by that. Then we can't leave on time. <laughs> and finally, I'm just like, whatever, I'll drive by myself. So I go get into my own car mm. and drive to the engagement party alone. <laughs> when I get there... My mother and her side of the family are there, which were not invited. (laughs) (laughs) And so I get really mad about that and storm away from my own engagement party. And it turns out that this bridal boutique is also on the grounds of a festival, like a big music (laughs) festival. (laughs) Oh, my (laughs) gosh. So as I'm walking through this festival trying to cool off, I see in the sky a military plane crash. Oh my god. Whoa, Trey. And then protesters <laughs> come at oh me my and a bunch of people and they're throwing bags of their own Oh my god. Faces? Yes, at this me and detailed. other people. It is. It's crazy. I only have these crazy dreams like once every 10 years. Yeah. And then, so after the military plane crashes, and then it's all anarchy, it's dark outside, (laughs) and I'm trying to find my way back to my hotel room, which was not where we were before. We were at our apartment. Now I have a hotel room for some (laughs) reason. So I go find myself in my hotel room. I go look for my car first. That's what it was. I could not find my car. Lost car. Then I finally make my way back to my hotel room and... Go, oh boy, it's 1.40. I have a couple of minutes I can just sleep before I have to go to work. So I fall asleep and wake up to Justin, <laughs> part-time Justin, calling me to tell me, hey, it's 6.40 in the morning. You need to be at work. I get up and start freaking out, try to find my car again, can't find it. A lady in a golf cart <laughs> then takes oh me God. to work. Wow. What? Once I get to work... Kelly Raspberry says, we need to have a meeting because you can't show up like this to work so late. We end up going and sitting in a room. The lady (laughs) in the golf cart comes back in and says, hey, here's a thousand dollar bill. Like I have to pay you a thousand dollars for driving me around like a taxi Mm -hmm. and finding the studio. And I look at my bank app don't have the money in my bank account and burst into tears, just sobbing uncontrollably. And then I get in my head, I'm like, this must be a joke. This has to be some sort of prank or something. And that's when a wall opens up and uh, Randy, who was doing kid TV for us, is there. And he tells me that I'm a part of a Black Mirror episode (laughs) and he's been (laughs) drugging me this whole time. This is the most detailed. I can't remember squat. Right. Yeah, it is. Right. And there's have, a lot. I have cut out half of the details yeah. just to what? make this quick. Yeah. And it wasn't quick. I don't, even remember, the dream. I don't even remember how it started. He started because he was having an engagement party. So. Engagement party. Yeah. Okay. So I just, so when I did this dream, I think there's a lot of details there that we can just kind of push aside, right? Like you oversleeping for work. That's a very common dream. I think a lot of us have or a feeling just because we do get up really early and we're always so, we go through phases where we're so worried we're going to yeah. oversleep because it happens. And but we do. Sometimes. The big <laughs> the big themes here, Trey, that I think a lot of people have. So when I start looking through this is uh, first, let's talk about the fact that you're getting married. They say, and you say, you may, I'm not saying that you're having second thoughts or doubts oh, or anything uh-oh. like Call that. Off, uh-huh. But they say that you definitely just subconsciously have a lot of anxiety, especially when we get to the Part about that thousand dollar bill when you're presented with a bill in your dream it suggests that you're thinking about your finances and money matters right now more than normal yeah uh or someone handed a bill they say it might be linked to something from the past that you're only paying for now so that can be directly related to just a stress about finances in general as simple as that you know when you see money in a dream but going back to the fact that you're getting married that a lot of people getting married have dreams like this you know, that they have dreams just that are very bizarre. They're scared deep down just about a big life change. Maybe you're happy about it, but it's still a big life change that you're marrying someone and you want everything to go smoothly and you're having a big event in your life. Gotcha. Fighting with your mom represents a relationship not just with your mom, but w- it could be your spouse, a co-worker. Uh, the Who do you plan- hate at work, Trey? Yeah. There's a long list. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and they say moms in dreams. You have to ask yourself. 
how's your relationship with your mom? Is it negative or positive? And depending on what it is, then you go into other relationships therapy. in your life, right? Yeah, therapy. <laughs> plane crash dreams are really common. If yeah. you have a fear of planes like I do, then that's why you have plane crash dreams. But in your situation, they say a dream might indicate you have unrealistic goals, which are not going to be easily achieved. It's a military plane, though, wasn't it, Trey? Yeah. Right, the crashing. Yep, or that you have feelings of panic and pessimism and a negative state of mind going on in your life, so you need to that try could come and work on that. That's all day, every result, day. It results in people throwing poop at you. Right. I was fascinated <laughs> by the riot part. The riot says elements in your life feel out of control and a loss of individuality, and at times you experience rage. He does. Oh, that, for oh, sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Man, I always look at Trey and I'm like, what's He's going on in his head? On the brink, man. Anarchy's going on. We're gonna start calling him Trage. <laughs> Tra- Ooh, <laughs> yes. That is great. Trager. Trager. Tra- 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 uh, he's going to trade again. Tra- trembling Trager. <laughs> oh.